Hi, my name is Thais Gibson and I'm the co-owner and creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video and in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about core rebound behavioral patterns anxious preoccupied individuals tend to have after the breakup of a relationship. So before I dive into some of these major patterns, um, we are doing our Black Friday sale, which I'm so excited about. Um, we have our lifetime memberships on sale, over $1,000 off um, after many, many, many requests um, for this and, and a lot of people um, just missing the, the closing date of the lifetime membership from the launch time where we just did it a couple months ago, or I guess like a month and a half ago. Um, so we decided to put that back out there. We also have 50% off of single course purchases. And then we have an amazing offer as well for 30% off for our um, uh, membership bundle. So check that all out. I'll put links in the description box below. Um, and let's discuss this topic because I know this is a big one for a lot of you guys. So first and foremost, some big patterns that we'll see is anxious, preoccupied individuals tend to have huge needs for emotional connection, social connection, relationship connection in a romantic way. And um, also for things like approval, validation, because usually there's a subconscious so subconscious association with approval, meaning that I'm going to get love and connection. So they've sort of linked those things together the vast majority of the time. Now, at the same time, anxious preoccupied are often so preoccupied with seeking this outside of themselves that they're kind of in this pervasive state of self-abandonment in the relationship to themselves. And what this often produces is this big lack with this big need, right? Lack of being able to fill my own cup makes me be in a perpetual state of lack. Huge need here also emphasizes that lack. And it's easy to fall into a space where you're feeling a little bit more desperate or afraid, or I need to hold on to something and I'm so afraid of letting it go because it's like going to the gas station with your gas tank empty. Do you really need that station to be open, right? So when the brain is wired to avoid pain and seek pleasure, which it is, the pain of loneliness is already so strong for FAs and the pleasure of having their needs met for connection, safety, closeness is also very strong. And so what you'll often find in terms of how anxious preoccupied individuals treat relationships is when they go, when, uh, when there is a breakup, often it's really hard for them to get over it first. And then often before an anxious preoccupied is actually doing reprogramming work on their attachment style, the most common pattern I see emerge is that the anxious preoccupied will feel like they're turning a corner once they have a new love interest again and often will feel like they're not over the relationship and they can't get over it, even if it's years later, um, if they haven't found a new love interest. Because the new love interest, when you're not doing the reprogramming work, is filling that major space of lack and filling those really important needs. And so when somebody feels disempowered, not of their own fault whatsoever, but because they're programming from their childhood experiences has essentially made them disempowered in terms of finding ways to get their needs met in that relationship to themselves, then obviously they're gonna seek out another relationship and obviously that's gonna be something that makes them feel healed and happy or at least relieved. But what I want you to know is the anxious preoccupied is you want to do that other internal work. Um, because not only will that ultimately be the number one feature that allows you to have a healthy, thriving relationship long-term, um, but also it will help you make clearer decisions and, and find love in your life that you're deserving and, and um, you know, you just deserve to have as a person. So, so I want you to know that like it, the, the going, the whole point I'm trying to make here basically is that it's not uncommon for anxious preoccupied to rebound, not immediately after a relationship ends, um, not the first couple of weeks, because often there's so much pain and suffering, but to seek some kind of connection that could turn into something within a fairly short period of time post breakup, because it's like the only band-aid you can find, right? Because it's like the only thing that can heal. And sometimes then you won't want to leave that relationship because you're afraid of that new feeling of breakup. So you'll stay in things, which leads anxious, preoccupied individuals to often be serial monogamists. They're often in back-to-back -back relationships or close there too. Not always, but it is common. And it's because there's this fear of being alone. And it's because there's this attraction that easily comes out when um, we have these huge needs and we meet somebody who can potentially fulfill them. We want to connect to that thing that's going to meet our needs. It's part of how we're wired as human beings, literally as a species. So, so while you could do that as a, as a mechanism, 
if those anxious patterns are still alive, they're also still going to be saboteurs to relationships, which means you're probably going to keep repeating a cycle to a certain degree, which means the only real solution is to do the inner reprogramming work, heal and reprogram your anxious attachment style, which isn't that difficult when you have the right and effective tools. And then that empowers you to save all this time of going from relationship to relationship, having to hurt so much through breakups again, and then only to reconnect and then repeat the cycle. So that's my message. Um, but in terms of the patterns, pattern number one is that anxious preoccupied are often ser serial monogamous in relationships. They do often go from one relationship to another, sometimes even won't leave a relationship unless they think that there's somebody else that they can kind of move towards right after. And it's not because they're insensitive to the person they're breaking up with. It's because there's a lot of pain there that, and we're all wired to avoid it. And so, you know, pain associated with the breakup or things not working out. So that's one pattern you'll see. Another pattern we'll see is that anxious preoccupied after a breakup will not rebound at all because they're kind of frozen. They're stuck in feeling so much pain associated with the relationship ending that they literally for a long time, they're not even in an avoidance state. They're in a state where they're unable to take action because they're really sinking from a lot of that heaviness and distress of that past relationship not working out. And usually when they're in that frozen state, for them to stay there, the object of their focus is still the X. So the frozen state will stay there as long as there's some kind of hope, even if it's false hope that the X might come back, that things could, you know, um, return. And by focusing on that, the anxious preoccupied individual often, often stops themselves from moving on and healing um, and then stays in that frozen state. And often if somebody's just leaving a tiny, tiny window open and just getting some connection here and there, but not actively making an investment in a relationship with you, often the anxious preoccupied ends up being really let down by that person as well because the other person suddenly moves on or something like that. This can be a pattern that shows up for FAs leaning anxious as well, but it's definitely important to note in terms of this particular circumstance. And then our third pattern are the anxious preoccupied to step up and decide, okay, I'm going to put an end to this cycle. I don't want to live like this anymore. Relationships hurt, breakups hurt. I don't want to keep going through this. I'm going to choose to be on my own. I'm going to choose to seek out emotional support and resources, whether it's through seeing a therapist, whether it's through taking courses, whether it's through reading books, whatever it might be, where you really consciously and intentionally focus in on healing effectively after a breakup. And then we'll see that anxious preoccupied individuals often don't rebound, instead carve out really great space for themselves and then have the opportunity to really heal and go into more healthy, secure relationships long-term. So those are the major patterns. That's what they are. I don't see enough of anything standing out in particular to mention another pattern. Um, so because those tend to be quite pervasive for anxious preoccupied. So let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.